This is for all you lovely lot. So there's a few of you that we've been speaking to recently that have tight uh, lower backs, tight hips, um, or maybe a bit of hip pain or lower back pain. So we decided to film some mobility that you can do morning and evening, uh, just to make this a little bit more comfortable. We're going to do some stuff together and then Paige is going to coach me through some stuff uh, which is a bit more technical so that you guys can actually see what you're meant to be doing. So enjoy guys, um, if you find this useful drop us a message, if you need anything else following on from this then please also drop us a message either via the app, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Messenger, whatever you want really. We're quite contactable. contactable. We're quite contactable. Yeah. Really, aren't we? Contactable? Is that contactable. a contactable? I think it is. It is now. Reachable. We're quite reachable. Oh that's good, probably all day. All day. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> are we starting on the floor page? We are going to start on the floor. Cool, let's go. Let's so, go. as we are aiming this really for the years of you who do have that lower back pain, hip pain, predominantly for desk work, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're imagining at the start of the day or the end of the day, we're just trying to find the farm and the system down and get some spinal mobility. So, take some nice big deep breaths. All we're going to do is try to keep the chest nice and still and keep those ribs tucked in. We're just going to take some big deep breaths in. We're going to raise the chin. Only the chin, keeping those shoulders nice, breathe out, bring the chin to the chest. So you're not hunching over here just yet. Just nice small movements of the chin in and then breathe out, chin down to the chest. So you should feel a nice little stretch along the back of the neck here, especially if you're feeling extra tense. You'll feel your traps start to stretch a little bit. Breathe into it, as with all the stretches, the more you breathe, the more you're telling your body to calm down and just give into the stretch, tripping that stretch reflex into chilling out. Just gonna imagine, oh, that feels like you're quite stressed. Ellie? <laughs> yes. Me? You? Stressed? <laughs> Me? Stressed? No. no. Never. So what we're gonna do now, just after this last exhale, we're gonna continue that movement. All we're gonna do is advance that movement up a little bit. So breathing in, what you're gonna do is open the chest with the breath, and then as you exhale, we're going to hunch those shoulders forward for a little bit of approach, okay? Just making that nice and steady increase in movement. And you're trying to flare the ribs here. Breathe out, get a nice crunch in those shoulders. Each time going a little bit further. So exhale, and then as you crunch in, tuck that pelvis in, bring the ribs into the hips. Breathe in, really fill those lungs up because that chest will be feeling a little bit tight as well. So, with all lower back hip, um, niggles and hip niggles, it can all stem all the way from up the top here. So, let's start from the top, then move down to the bottom. Really open the chest now. Good. And then on that last one, just come to a nice and neutral sort of position here, just wiggle those shoulders. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to do some big snakes with the spine. Now, the spine is a nice straight. Well, it's, nice. it's a nice little curved feature, it's a curved bone. However, it should be able to move in all different directions, but most of the time we're moving this direction. So we're walking, we sit, we get into bed, we stand up. But what we want to be able to do to keep it nice and healthy is move it around. So, hands on the hips, keeping that hips. breathing. Hips. Knees. Hands on the knees. Those ones there. They're the knees. <laughs> I'm not doing I'm a professional. Oh, we're professionals. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do some nice circles, okay? Now what you're going to think about doing, as you circle the hips and the shoulders in, you're going to crunch over to one side, tuck the hips in, come into a nice crunch of the shoulders, crunch over to this side, and then with that breath, open up the spine, curving the hips, sticking that bum out, and then coming back around. So you've got the hips on the spine all moving together. So big circles, hands on those knees. Crunching it all the way around, keeping that breath nice and steady. So in and out, really slowing it down. It's like you're wringing your spine out like a towel, which is lovely. This is crunching it and then bring it on your thigh. Because oh, you yeah. should be able to move both ways. That confused you, didn't it? Yep. Open it up. Why does it always feel easier one way? And harder the So we're creating different neural highways in the brain. Thanks. That technical term, you know, you know, you're professional. I do do that in my brain. It's quite clever. <laughs> but sometimes the brain glitches, it goes, oh, which way am I going? Oh. It's like this little movement. <laughs> so the brain goes, oh, I do it. What? This is weird. Okay, now, exactly the same with the rotation. However, we're going to cross the arms over the chest and you're going to hug it in. We're going to 
Because it's a nice big deep breath and you want to lead with the elbows here. So we're trying to draw big circles with the elbows. Keep hung, hug it in, crunch it over. And then as you open up that chest, bring the elbows up, but we're not up here. Still trying to hug it in. Bring the tilt that chin back, hug it all the way through. So it's just accentuating that spinal rotation that we've just done. But because we're hugging those elbows in, it stops you from using your shoulders too much. So you really feel it in the spine here. Are you feeling any? Yeah, good. Crunchy? No, but no, no crunchy. Are you not? Oh my goodness. It's all right, then. That's because you've been doing number 52. Hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> and then the other way around. If at any point through this you're feeling any numbness or tingling in your feet, just grab a chair. You can sit on a chair, you can sit on your bum. On a bench, on a desk. However you want to. Okay. Oh, shake it off there. What we are going to do, we're going to do some squats to standing. So, standing up here, you're going to come to a nice position that you know is your squat stance that you can get down quite low. If you need to come a little bit wider to create some space in those hips, please do. You're going to touch the floor or touch your toes. We're going to push the bum down as far as you can go and we're going to push the bum up, keeping our head down nice and low. So push the bum down and then bump up, keep the head low. You don't have to straighten the legs the whole way through if you're feeling too much tension on the hamstrings. If you just need to bend it a little bit, that is completely fine. Again, when you sit down a lot of the day, your hamstrings are constantly flexed here. So they may feel a little bit tight. That is normal. Now the aim of the game is not to stop sitting because if you have a desk job, that's just the aim of the game. That's just your life. The aim is to get nice and mobile, nice and stretched, and strong in those positions so that it's not as detrimental to your health. So, once we have done a few of the squat to stands, you're going to stay up in the standing position. Now, adjusting your feet to wherever it feels comfortable, and if you need to have a slight bend in those knees to take the tension off the hamstrings, completely fine. What we're going to do is we're going to sweep the hands from side to side in these big circles. So every time you twist over to one side, you should feel a stretch down your calves, your glutes, and your hamstrings, which are all on the back of your legs. So if you do so it, my legs are nailed against the floor. Yes, that is. <laughs> oh, we should get your mic down here. <laughs> People are looking. Over five. 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 Over five.
Knees around the hips, hips in line with the shoulders, keeping the shoulder on the floor, knees on the floor, feet on the floor, and opening it up. And then remember, if you get stuck here in the shoulder, use your breath, tell the body it's okay to calm down. In through the nose, hand release, and open it up. All we're doing there is tricking that stretch reflex into chilling out. You've got to trick your body to chill out nowadays. Go ahead and do early. This is quite nice. It's lovely, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. I've just noticed there's lots of holes in the ceiling. There's holes in the ceiling. <laughs> Why is there holes in the ceiling? I have no idea. I'm going to blame Sophia's dead left and we'll be watching this. Yeah, it's Sophia, it's your fault, Sophia. Okay, and it's going to pop into a nice seated position. We're both going to do this one. So, you're going to put it back there. There we go. <laughs> Bring the heels in front of you. You want the heels a little bit wider than hip distance. And you're going to bring the hands behind the back, so you're going to support your body here so that we're not putting too much tension on those hips. And we're going to drop the knees to the same side. So you're going to drop it, woo, get a little bit of twist in those hips. You may feel a little bit tightness there, tightness of the glutes. That's fine. It may pop up, and that's completely fine. If you need a little bit more support, can do it. to the hip, to the glute, and to the side of the body here, 
to work on keeping your pelvis nice and healthy. You cramping yet? No, you're not. Mine's heading there. And then down, nice and steady. And we're going to do that one more time. So up. Ooh, she's spicy. And relax there. And then we're going to go over to the other side. So back over into that nice and nice stretch. So nice and breathe in, nice and breathe in the front. And we're going to do pushing the knee down to the ground and then pushing the hand away. So, hand on the knee, push it into the floor and squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. And then hand on the middle of the calf, push the knee up. Five, four, three, two, one. And then back to the knee, push it into the ground for five, four, three, two, one, relax there, push the hand away for five, four, three, two, one, one more time, knee into the floor, five, four, three, two, one, and then hand on the middle of the calf, push the hand away for five, four, three, two, one, and relax there. Now focusing on this back leg, hands on the floor for support, keep that chest out, Back nice and straight, we're going to work on raising the foot up. You'll get a little bit of a tilt here. If you feel like it's cramping, just think about tensing the back of the leg, trying to bring the foot up to the sky, and then relax. So we're going to do that three more times. Going up, squeeze, da, 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 and relax. And then again, up. Good, and then back. And is that still tight your right side tight? Yeah, yeah way tight. Let's not have my left foot. Now what we're going to do is go back to the 90 90 stretch on this side. You are going to keep the front leg on the floor, but what you're going to do is raise the back knee all the way up. So you're trying to rotate it as much as you can. So you're going to bring this foot up just a little smidge. So here, raise the knee up. Oh, you are tight on that side. Yeah. Keeping this knee on the floor, <laughs> and then you're going to rotate it. Yeah, that's hard. Good. And then rotate it. If you need to put your hands behind your back and help you to get this, you can do so. Opening up your foot. It's tight. And now back. We're going to do that one more time. Keeping this knee on the floor. Rotate it open. A nice stretch. Woo! And relax. And then we're going to turn all the way over to the side. And exactly the same. So if you need to put the hands behind your back for support here, keeping the front leg. So your wave is not tight on that side. No, not this side. So we're all walking around a little bit wonky, guys. Left, that's my left. Even us as PTs. It's not us as PTs. But making sure that we should stay equally on each side helps us stay nice and strong. One more time. So open it up as much as you can. Good. And then what you're going to do, bring both feet together as close or as far away as you want to. We're going to rock side to side just to get a little bit of a relax in those hips here because they work very, very hard. So just relax, take some big deep breaths. <sighs> and chill. Okay, now we're going to go into a Cossack lunge. There are two different ways you can do this, depending on your mobility or your stability. So, <laughs> you can get on the screen and do this. I can get on this one. Come on, come on in and So, if you can keep the heel down with the Cossack, and bring your bum down nice and low. Absolute fabulous. If you can't, it's all right. Or you can use a chair in front of you. Oh, okay. yeah, that's stability. Both can you make it in? If we're on the same side. Like, it's on opposite sides. Oh, okay. So, keeping that foot down nice and low. If you can sit into the hips, perfectly. If you can't, we're going to push that knee away with the elbow. Now, staying down nice and low, we're going to Crawl over in a squat, over to the other side. So over, straighten out the other leg, and push the knee away. That's it. Good, you can feel a nice stretch down the knee here. Staying down nice and low, keep that bum low, over to the other side. And then push the knee away. Now sometimes handy if you've got like a settee in front of you on this one, you can crawl the body over, keep those hips down nice and low. That one's going, the hips, the hips are a little bit crampy. 
Tuck the right hips out. What are you doing there? Good. One more. Over to this side. And then we're going to crawl back over to the side, but we're going to come into a lovely deep lunge. So, front foot in front of you. You're going to bring the back leg down to the ground. Now, with that front foot, you're going to bring it onto the outside of the foot. So you're going to tilt it. You're going to push the knee over to that side. So you're just going to let it come really. So let the body weight take it. Let him gravity take the knee. Take the knee if you watch Game of Thrones. If you've not seen Game of Thrones, have you been? No, disappointing. Okay, keep letting that hang on the side of the foot. Then. Let the other foot keep letting the knee fall out. We're going to do some thoracic rotation. All that is is that you can, if you can come down here, fabulous. If you can't, you're going to stay up here. So I'm going to come down here. Who's going to stay up there? Okay. <laughs> And we're going to do some rotation with the arm. Now, when we rotate, we rotate towards the knee. So you're going to face the knee, arm up to the sky, and then you come back down, hand back down to the floor. We're going to do five on that side. So opening it up, really reaching up to the sky, letting that knee hang at all times. So onto the side of the leg, and then it hang out. Up. Good. We're going to do two more. So really letting that knee hang out as much as you can. You're just letting gravity take it. Let gravity do the work, guys. Don't you do the work. <laughs> Good. Move it up. Woo! Lovely stuff. Okay. From here, you're going to bring this back up nice and slowly. And you're going to bring the knee back up to a normal position. Full foot on the floor. You're going to bring the opposite arm over the knee. And then we're going to bring the arm in front of the body. Rotate to the back of the room. Just as much as you can. And then bring it back to the centre. So each time you're facing towards the knee, we're not facing outwards, otherwise, well, that will happen. <laughs> so five times here, rotate out, and then back in, breathing nice and steady. You can breathe in here, and then breathe out as you open up. If you exhale as you open up, you're letting all the air out of your lungs, you get a little bit more of a twist as well. And then from there, coming back to that centre, you're going to push that foot back, and we're going to switch. So bring that other foot front in front of you, onto the side of the foot and then let the body hang. So you let gravity do the work here. You either stay up with the areas or you come down onto the elbows if you want a deeper stretch. Again, facing the knee, get some nice thoracic rotations here. So the thoracic spine, upper portion of your spine, just below the neck. This is where we get the most tension, the most tightness. It's where those muscles are working extra hard to keep your head in place all day long. So if we get a nice twist there, we'll know that we're releasing some of the tension from the day, or if you just slept funny. So guys, do try the, the easier option uh, with your hands up on your so arms straight, not what Paige is doing. This is something to work towards, okay? So if you're feeling really tight and you can't get those elbows down onto the floor, do not push it, okay? So we don't want you getting more spasms or tightness. Absolutely okay, not. so if it feels uncomfortable, be in those top positions. Hence why we're filming this for two people, so that you can see the two different variations. And remember, only ever go to your current range, current of, range of movement. So if you're here and you know you can't go any further than that, or you have to bring the knee in slightly, that's currently where you're at. The more you do this, the more range of motion you'll get. I can only get here because I do this a lot and I do a lot of mobility. But once upon a time, I was like a little pretzel and I was like, all cringy. Croissants. Croissants. It was a puzzle. It was a puzzle. It was Anyway, over the knee. No, 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 just that. Woo! With this one as well, you'll feel the stretch on the front of the quad. Now, when you've got tight hips, it's the front of the body here, the hip flexors, they're really tight. Now, if they get tight, the stomach muscles get tight. That's usually where we feel a lot of stomach cramps or IBS. We get tight quads, so the front of the thighs get all nice and tight quads. All it, all it, it's called a chain. Chain, we got the anterior chain. Okay, now, I'm just going to do one more. <laughs> and then, we're going to have a little lie down, are A little lie down? I'm going to have a little lie down, mate. I might lie low. You're going to have a little lie down. I'm going to lie down. Now, on my back, on your back, on my back. Now, at home, if you're at home, you're going to grab yourself a cushion. Or a towel, I'm just going to look back and I'm going to grab Ellie. I'm out. Thanks. Put back. Little lie down. A little lie down. down. Now, like I've just said, and like I've just said, all the muscles are in a chain. So
So, anterior chain, the front of the body, posterior chain, back of the body. When we sit down at a desk or, you know, we've been hunched over all day, or we've been driving for long hours, we're all hunched up here. So, upper back's working extra hard, lower back's stretched, and the hips are nice and tight. Now, what a lot of people forget is that the chest is really tight here, and then, then we get nice, anxious little breaths because we can't take full breaths because it's all tight. So it's really important to open up the chest so that we can breathe properly and so that everything works nice. So Ellie's just going to sit up nice and gently. You're going to roll the towel or roll up the cushion, and you're going to place it about where your bra strap will sit, or if you don't wear a bra, where an imaginary bra strap will sit. <laughs> Or am I digging my pelvis down? Um, yeah. It's just relax. relax. Just relax. So don't try to tense anything here. Thank you. We just want the chest to open up. Now, when you first get into here, we're like, oh, I hate this. It's horrible. I feel really, really tight. The shoulders will pop up. And what we're going to try to do is just take some big, deep breaths again, tricking the brain to relax in. So as you breathe in, bring all the breath into that chest. And then as you relax and let the breath out, just try and melt into the Show and melt into the floor like gravity is opening up your shoulders. Now, what Ellie's going to do here is she's going to bring her arms out just to the side. So we're not going to overstretch the lats at the minute, which is the side of the body here. All we're going to try to do is open up those shoulders, open up those chest muscles, which will be really, really tight. It'll feel we're like taking those big deep breaths in to begin with because we're not used to this being open. As a little protective measure from the world, what do we do, Ellie? Hi! By the way! We tried to make ourselves a little bit smaller. Let's make so ourselves big! I don't want people to see me. Let's okay. make ourselves big! Is that how I do this? <laughs> but it's very, very important to keep our muscles healthy, lungs healthy, heart healthy. So just open it up and relax. You can keep your eyes open here if you feel a little bit safer to do so. But just take those big deep breaths in. It feels intense to begin with. The more you do it, the more you trust it, the better it feels. Now, what Ellie's going to do here, she's going to slowly raise her arms up just a little bit higher. She's going to drop those arms down and relax. Now, if your lats are tight here, those arms won't touch the floor. So what you will do is just bring in the hands a little bit closer to the head. And then just relax. If you can, take some big deep breaths. That's harder. That's harder? That's yeah. harder. Oh, that's easier. You've got some tight shoulders going on. Shoulders, yeah, not that. Tight shoulders, tight shoulders. Tight shoulders. Okay. Now, and it's going to bring those arms all the way back up in front of the chest. She's going to turn her hands towards her knees. And then she's going to bring her arms over the head, taking some big deep breaths and exhaling here. Open it up, relax. Now, if you feel like you get stuck at a certain point, you're going to take that big deep breath in, remember tricking the breath. And then relax, and open up a little bit more until you naturally stop again. And relax. You should be able to go a little bit deeper each time. You can flare the ribs as long as we're opening that chest up. So I'm just going to stop here for a few seconds. Just taking some nice relaxing deep breaths in and out. Keeping that chest open. So if you feel like you get a tingling in the hands, that's fine. You can just release those arms. What about the ankle? About the ankle? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't tell you that. Couldn't tell you. That one eludes me. We talk about nerves. Are you the nerves of your ankles and the base of your neck? I don't know. How weird. I mean, it's all connected. <laughs> now what you're going to do is you're going to draw a big circle with your hands. So you're going to take a big deep breath in, then as you exhale, bring that circle all the way around. You're going to bring your arms over your chest into a nice big hug. You're going to tuck that chin in, and then very, very gently sit and up, or you can roll over to one side to come up here. So if this feels a little bit better, I'm going to crunch all the way up. Absolutely, but you're going to demonstrate the roll over. Oh, okay, it's So really from here, better. you're going to roll the knees over to one side, roll it all the way over, and then around, and then back up into a comfortable seat position. And then that is your hip and spine mobility done. Woohoo! Woohoo! So I think I need to look a bit loosey goosey now. My ankle hurts. That's weird. I'm just weird. That's weird. That's weird. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Strange. Hopefully, that helps. If you have any questions,
questions. If any of that feels really painful, then please do get in touch because we can adapt things, we can help you. Uh, if your ankle hurts like mine does, then hey, we're just weird. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. You'd be like, oh, my left eyebrow.